Hey beautiful humanity, welcome to Sayuna with beautiful soul messages. As we ascend during our lifetimes and in any lifetime in a mansion, we can always merge with our higher self and more of ourselves. And so then also our perception, the way we perceive things and even our name can change. So yeah, we can be flexible about this. Also, many of our structures, our family structures, relationships will change or fall apart because they were karmic and you were like, as a soul group, even from different species or, I mean, root races, you could come together and play different roles. But now... It has all come to an end. It is no more longer beneficial for anyone to learn from. And we were, have been striving to bring the life into harmony once again for a long time. And we succeeded. And it was already known since 2008 that Earth herself succeeded. And then she had a deep desire that humanity would come along with her. So that was where the struggle was about the last decade and so. Right now we are emerging from our cocoon phase. And many of us have been in the cocoon phase for a longer period already. The ones who have been preparing most, they will probably feel an experience to emerge from this cocoon space. Then I also wanted to share something from my personal life um, that was quite challenging. And I see that things fall apart. The um, I have solar panels, but every connection about electricity was breaking. And I was falling on my knee. Things were breaking. Things are finishing. Don't work anymore. And that is what I'm seeing in the energy. A lot of things don't work anymore because they are not in alignment with those higher frequencies. Now, I, in my lifetime, I've been helping with deleting, dissolving implants for many people for a long time. And... Then when I saw the injections coming, I was like, oh, it was kind of disappointment for me, myself. And I did not know mentally in my mind what was going on exactly, but I could see that exactly those things happened again. Although I know and knew uh, that... Those things will not be played out for a long time. I did not know exactly how long and in what extent. So also I saw that all of those uh, injections with those implants, the sex implants and the sex slave and the slave implant especially, were triggering all the old fears that were stored in the womb and in the earth center chakra but also in the root chakra and everything around the sexual energy center and the root energy center in the earth center now the earth energy center is the energy that is the body and the earth intelligence as one which is basically the intelligence of gaia so that's also the reason why your body can do things without you doing it something consciously. And then you have the root chakra, which is your first boundary between a, a kind of separation between earth and your body. So this is my body and that is the earth. And also it has to do with your boundaries, with the... Feeding through the roots, just as uh, through a womb, the umbilical cord feeds the baby. We also have roots connected through earth, within the earth, with her beautiful crystal heart. And she also became a beautiful golden diamond 
sphere of light and brighter than ever. We all have helped Gaia ascend as well, bring light, bring our own starlight of frequencies into Earth and help transcend the darkness back into the love. This is what is happening within many of us right now. Also through those implants, through those injections and also on other artificial intelligence things that are going on. Because I perceive those, also those that can jump over just like fleas can. Because uh, I embraced somebody who had those injections and then I perceived those were jumping over and go in my ear and then nestle in the soft tissues in the body. Usually they will nestle in the same tissues that you had implants before. And those implants will usually also be the same kind of implants. So it's interesting for me, but it is not for everyone to, to notice and follow. Because it's quite challenging, challenging I can tell you. Um, but yes, it is... possible to perceive it from your higher self without being swallowed into it but still i can tell you from my own experience it's quite challenging i was following following it all the way and wanting to see and experience what it is doing so that was what it was doing and because i'm experienced in removing implants i knew exactly what it is what it's doing because when, for example, you have a feminine body in this lifetime and you have the implants in, you, in this lifetime, specific implants, then they will only be activated in the next lifetime with that specific uh, feminine body. So you could have different experiences and they won't always be triggered and turned on. And that depends also. But... As you can imagine, when I spend so much time deleting them and then they all come back, millions and millions, and I'm like, oh no, what's happening, what's going on? But of course, it was meant to be for me to follow in this way. Very interesting again, to really see where it started and to see how it's done. But already I knew it, but now it, I was there. It was not in the past, it was in the now. And that is strange. That was kind of crazy. Anyways, don't worry about it. Because although those fears and everything that has been done through those implants, the sex slave implants that pulls you towards specific uh, pions, specific players that then use you, have you as um, the slave that they can then abuse or use either as a sex slave or either as somebody that produces their um, nurture, their, not the nurture, but their low vibrational frequencies, which they feed on as parasites or vampires, and also the bodies to breed their creatures or sustain their, um, their creations. Actually, we our energy is giving the life or the creations the possibility for them to create at all is through our energy so basically everything came through us and that's also the reason why everything can come back through us into harmony and love again so that was what i'm doing and i know many of you are is doing the same thing uh, the lowest of the lowest vibration can even still be witnessed and then be dissolved into the love consciously. And you can also just move with the flow because it will happen anyway. So, now, what is also happening, the solar body is not anymore the way it was before. As you can see, it's so much brighter, it's changed and many things are different because also, many things were just a projection or uh, the lens which you perceive things. Because the body has been very much misunderstood. It has been researched, but mostly with 
intellectual intelligence and physical proofs and findings, but not so much by higher senses and way of perceiving. Now, the body is not dense and fast and stationary as it seems and as uh, most of us have believed or made believe. So, if you can see it from your higher perspective, your body is already changed. You are already changed within your body. And, of course, when you still see the body from those uh, five senses, then... It's very hard to see any difference because you perceive it through the five senses and then the brain is guessing what it's seeing. So even when something's changed, you still will see the same kind of... Because you're not really seeing with the brain. The brain is only translating, um, guessing. That's what the whole science is doing. It's guessing. That's the only thing the brain can do. It's guessing. But to know, the inner knowing that comes from within, from the love frequency which is not light or dark is the love and also i was saying the darkness is no match for the love and never have been so the light and the dark are right now dissolving back into the love and we can move along with these frequencies do it even consciously or just surrender to the love and we can say with through to everything that comes up from ourselves what was stored within ourselves in our atoms or in our memory, the things that have happened that were very fearful for us and threatening the everything around sexual abuse, sexual wounding, but also the mother womb, the loss of babies, stillborn babies or miscarriages, abortus and the loss of children, but also about being birthed. Uh, traumas about being birthed itself, about feeling safe on the earth, but also feeling safe within your womb center, your sexual and creative energy center, being humiliated, ridiculed, all those things, all those things. And also, of course, uh, the root chakra was also about, or energy center was also about the hunter, the, um, the predator and the hunted. So prosecution, not being welcomed, being abandoned, all those feelings can come up. Now, lovingly witness them, acknowledge them and bring them back into the love and ask your higher I am presence within you to dissolve them back into the love. So also know, and you can be surprised because we are emerging out of the cocoon state and we are morphing, we have morphed. It is different, not as a caterpillar and then come out as a blue caterpillar. Something entirely different, more lighter, in different ways. And the rules or laws that has ruled many of us on the earth doesn't work anymore just like gravity and all of the other things. But already many people showed in the history that they could defy those rules. They could lift things with thoughts alone and move things and know things that weren't possible to know. And channel information, um, they could levitate. There were a lot of things already possible, people who could make electricity with the body and of course that's possible and just as this recent Dutch guy Wim Hof that he can defy the, the cold, the ice and that his heartbeat stays normal and so back to the earth chakra or the earth center and that is also very important because the body itself knows what to do. It also knows how to bring it in alignment because the body itself has the intelligence of Mother Earth, which is your body. And the breathing is not something you do, but you can do a little bit extra with your breathing. The heartbeat is not something you do, although when you run, your heart goes, beat goes faster. But the beating goes by itself. 
Now, many more processes go by itself. That is why, for example, when people are sleepwalking or drunk, because it's quite similar to be drunk or sleep drunk, they can walk home without being consciousness about it. The body knows. You might have done things and you might have cycled for five kilometers and brought your bicycle back on the correct place and go into your bed and don't remember. Now, the body knows and the body knows how to heal and the body knows what to do, which moment and is capable. Many of the things that we feel tired about is from the mental, the astral, and the emotional body. We can bring all back into the alignment. And we we'll always have plenty of energy. When we just trust. And move along with whatever is needed to do. We will do it. Also. There's nothing to fear about. Because within a year. Most of us have ascended, transcended, emerged and morphed into this higher presence and it is not has nothing to do anymore with dying because it is fully awakening, everything is happening in your awakened state although some will be out of conscious for a while but you will be wakened up directly because for some it is more comfortable to go through this change um, not fully with their conscious or because their bodies, one of their bodily systems finds uh, it harder. So because you can imagine a birthing process is never really easy, not for the mother and not for the one who is being born. So yeah, be loving to yourself. Try to ground as much as possible. For myself, I experience it's quite challenging to ground. I feel dizzy, especially since the lunar eclipse. This was a very specific lunar eclipse, a very special one. Also, I feel dehydrated a lot. All of my bodily system seems to change and respond differently. And we are shedding layers of ourselves and our lives that are no longer necessary and needed. Or required and also relationships fall apart because we are not longer needing to play the roles the karmic roles as soul family uh, in those family structures or karmic relationships they're all dissolving and there's not nothing to blame just forgive bring back into the love because everyone has already played over and over these roles and harmony already was there a long time ago and Artificial intelligence made it very difficult uh, to overcome this to for the light. And that is why in the end we see that it's no longer beneficial either to try to save and play this game of the light. Bring back into the love frequency all the darkness. It is the love itself that is coming. And the love itself is at work. And we're not doing it. We just allow it. We are the channels. We are the receivers. We are, um, as a human being in a human body on the earth, receiving, surrendering, and in this process, every one of us, each one of us. And so when you already move through this gateway, this portal, this newer dimension of being, which is still here and now, then don't worry, you don't lose truly anyone or anything that matters or that not that matters. I mean, that is true. Only the falsity falls away. And the true of each soul, of each one comes forward. And that what no longer serves is also falling away. So... Don't worry about anything. For some people, things will turn out to be a little bit more challenging. But that is all right because every soul has all the help available and the choices. And 
when they just made a little bit more karma, for example, in this life, then they need to restore a little bit more. Or for whatever reason, we can always trust that everything is perfect and divine as it is at, at the moment. And as I said before, the curtains will fall away, which are the chemtrails, but also all of those lower frequencies, either by plane or by boat or in many dimensions and timelines, all the artificial intelligence and machinery and implants and makings to distort us, disturb us, lower our vibration, all this sort of thing. And they know it. So when you feel the fear coming up from something and feel like you're dying or passing, that they are those lower vibrations that feel that they are now dissolving back into the love. And not all the reptilians were bad either. Some of them already have been good. So we can move beyond reptilians and anything. The Pleiadian call them vagabonds because they didn't have a home. The last home they have exploded was Moldak. And let's see what happens. As far as I know, everything moves back into the love, which is real. And the illusion will dissolve and fall away. So we will meet each other with our truest face, with our truest being and presence, which is magnificent. And I send much love to all of you. And thank you all for being here present. I perceive that the masculine, the males are coming online now very quickly, moving on through their emotional and mental and astral bodies to heal and cleanse whatever is needed. They go through the past lives and timelines and karmic and relationships, wanting to know more. So that's what we've always predicted, what is happening right now. So the birth process goes through the feminine and the feminine essence within each of us but also through the feminine bodies, of course, and Mother Earth body, all her bodies are feminine then, in this way. But everyone will perceive it because everybody is in a feminine body. And even when you are born, your body first is a feminine body before it becomes a male body. So it's interesting. Now know that you are safe, fully protected and all your loved ones all are protected. No one will be left behind, okay? They can be a little bit slower or later. That's just when you go to a party. Not everybody arrives at the same time. And some are there to prepare the foods and the candles and the lighting and the music and everything. And then some are earlier and are helping and... Some are helping to receive the clients or help them to guide a little bit directions or whatsoever. So all is fine and it's perfectly as it is. And male clients, as long as I can do it, are still welcome. Feminine, of course, also. Um, but I see children and males now coming for sessions a lot and all is welcome. And I do what I can. It's speeding up. Um... I still need the funds for feeding the bodies, paying the things until it is no more needed on this uh, timeline. So please uh, keep on sending donations and gifts, which is very appreciated. And it is before you know it is also dissolved, because of course that has nothing to do with divine creation and harmony. And yay, no more! Mosquitoes living off of the blood of human beings or other creatures living off blood. Nothing to do with the blood anymore. And yes, your new bodies will have another food source. Much more working with directly with the solar light, with the light frequencies and the sounds. So, uh, the intestines, the digestive system the kidneys uh, everything will change and already the lungs are changing because it is not um, the oxygen but the ozone it's another form you're all the time ascending into a higher form so you will get used to it just as a baby who is getting born has to get used breathing new air oxygen 
and before it got all these things through the umbilical cord. Now, you will feel the liberation and the spaciousness when you move into your higher form. Everything will be conscious. And no real uh, reason anymore to die, but some have chosen or are not able to move with their bodies because uh, their bodies are not capable of adjusting anymore, especially those who are, have been for a longer time very ill or chosen this, of course, and because of their very old age. But most of the people, no matter the age, and even when you have illnesses, can move consciously and all the bodies will be restored. And I know nothing about what is to come in the way it is actually being. I can s say a lot from feelings, experiences, and uh, the um, information that I'm receiving, but for real, how it really truly will be is the same as a butterfly. Once he's flying, he will know. And flying we will. We will meet each other. We will have the reunion. We will have the celebration. So be ready. Be loving. You will get through this. You, you got this. And you are not alone. You are helped by a million of other beings. We're all together. We're all one. In the end, there's nothing out, outside us. There's only what is within. So, send you much love. Thank you all for being on this journey, for being so beautiful and for helping Ascension. And yes, enough for now. It takes a lot of energy, this process, okay? Just all the time see as the birth process costs so much energy. But it's totally worth it. So much love to everyone. Bye-bye.